Hey football fans, are you ready for this? About a month or two ago, I went on the Life and Football podcast and I found my new favorite sports podcast to listen to because they have exciting interviews, motivational speaking, and they help support football programs by promoting their athletes, coaches, staff who use their social media platforms and websites to promote their student athletes. You can even get a shirt like what I'm wearing right here on their website, lifeandfootball.com. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. It's life in football. We are life in football. You are now listening to the Life in Football podcast. Check out the new website, lifeandfootball.com. Welcome to the Life and Football Podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. This your co-host, Cole Moore. You know we love life and enjoying football. Today we got a very special episode. We just want to speak a, a little bit about the spring football aspect. Because we know you're getting up early in the morning working out right now. We know you're getting prepared for the, the season, the season in the fall. But the main focus right now is your grades. And then, just say if you battling for a position, this the time right now to put in the work. Because there shouldn't be no excuse. By the time the fall come, everything need to be rolling. You need to begin with your defense coordinator, your offense coordinator, knowing all the plays in the, um, in the playbook and kind of understanding, okay, what's my role for this team? And... A lot of time, us as players, you just go by the spring, just all lollygagging. You missing classes. You ain't really focused. Now, I didn't do this right here now. I was focused. I sat up front in the class. I made sure I got good grades. I, for some reason, I got way much better grades in college than I did high school. It's almost like I had a cloud over my head in high school. But when I once I got to high on um, college, it like the sun came out. And I understood things better because they had these syllables. I mean, I mean syllabus, and the professors they would follow them to the T. And with that, it was like a gold mine for me. And that's what you need to do for with the um, football season too. You already know you're gonna have mat drills five o'clock. You're gonna have your lifts. You're gonna have your um, study hall time. You gotta get in. And why not go ahead and put all the effort you need to do? For getting your grades right, getting your workouts in, and getting ready for this season. Cause like I said in the beginning, it don't need to be no excuse by the time that season come. What you got, Simo? Might hit that on the head. Y'all boys better lock in. Also, if you're coaching allowed, get in on track. Get on in on that track, and you start from whenever they open up, either that January or that February and you practice hard as you can, get your speed fast as you can get it, because you're gonna need that with playing football in the spring. You're gonna need it with playing, going over the summer. You're gonna need it definitely in the fall. So you go train and get your speed faster. That makes you that much better. Don't leave track on the table. Now, if you're playing basketball and baseball and all that as well, get them in, but definitely get track in because that's going to be a weapon for you when you get on the field. It's a difference when you could just get out there and fly past a guy and last year they could cover you or you could uh, lock them down, but now you just running straight past me. It ain't, it ain't nobody can outrun you. That That's a beautiful thing. So. Lock in on that track as well, because he covered everything that you need to do with your grades and football. But if you add that track to you, you'll go to a whole nother level. If you were, if you had 500 yards receiving or rushing yards or on defense you was doing your thing, with this track, you'll come in and take over that following year. I wish I can go back and do track when I really, really could have did it. When Lance Leggett, his father came and tried to get us to run in elementary, but just watching Lance run all the way from elementary through college, it changed his life. And I feel like it would have changed mine that way as well if I would have did it. So I'm telling you guys, man, lock in on track, right 
soon, soon as your season over, man, find your track coach and say, Coach, when it start? I know I might be playing basketball or baseball later, but lock in on track. That's pretty much point blank for that second semester. As far as getting your grade and putting your um, weightlifting in, like he said. See, Mo, and you got to look at the camera, tell them boys now, because you were looking at your mic just then. Yeah. Tell them boys, man. How I walk up, man. You played junior college ball. We were we were teammates, and um, we played junior college ball together. And during that springtime, I remember, and I done said this in other podcasts, when Simo and Walt came. They came up from uh, Bartow, Florida, and I think Simo was at another junior college, and Walt was at another school at the time. What was that University of Alabama? But when they came in, see, this is what Simo don't realize. He was, he was more focused then. He was really locked in because he was trying to prove. He had a point to prove. And I remember, man, we would go out there and work out. Because it wasn't a lot of us. We would do extra workouts. So once the snow got off the ground and it got warm, believe it or not, now it do get warm in um, Iowa probably about – the end of April, or uh, sometime in April, it get it start warming up, and he had these red cleats, man. Marcus and, Floyd gave me them from the uh, Buffalo Bills. I love them cleats. Bro. And he looked it so fast. Simo looked it so fast in them cleats, and he was moving too now. And um, we had the other guy from South Florida. Matter of fact, probably were all the Florida boys. And um, I know this one dude named Magic. He would go out there with us too, and the other guys from Miami. And um, that's when I knew we were going to have a good season. Even though we had a good season prior, we was at Ellsworth College. But Simo and Walt, I could tell they were hungry. You know, they had a determination in them. And this is what I'm saying, fellas. Focus during that time because Simo, he was ready. I kid y'all not. I, I could tell it. He was ready, man. He was trying to get his grind on. He was there working out. And – um. It ended up paying off, you know, later on in the season. But at that moment, during that spring, and if I know if I saw it, that let me know the coaches saw it too. See, Mo, you got anything else? He said it right, man. You got to focus. If you're not focused, you're going to miss your opportunity to get better. And it's going to eat you. So right now, whenever you hear this episode, man, if you ain't locked in, lock in. If you ain't giving it your all, start giving it your all and, and do it every single day. Be consistent about it. And I know that's easier said than done, but once you start improving and improving and improving and improving, it'll get addicting and you ain't going to want nothing less than that. So, man, focus and lock in. It's, it's all on you. You can do whatever you're trying to do this semester and going forward. It's all on you. That's right. So, lastly, man, y'all make sure y'all pray. Um, go to church, read your Bible, meditate, get your workouts in, go to class, study, and leave a lot of that foolishness behind, man. Smoking weed, hanging out with the boy, drinking, popping pill, whatever. Leave that stuff alone, man, because that's so easy to follow the crowd. And I always tell people, like for my younger folks, um, that smoking that marijuana and everything, I, th- I know it's it's acceptable now, but I do believe some kind of way it messes people up. Not everybody, but for some reason, it I know it triggers some people different, man. And you don't want to get caught up when you didn't out there smoking or doing whatever, or even drinking, man. You mess your whole life up, get in the car wreck, because you ain't in the right state of mind. You know, it alters your mind. So just basically what I'm saying is get focused, because that ain't going to help you focus. Ain't nothing wrong going to a party here and there, but this is the time for you to shine and get your position. And I'm going to leave y'all how I always leave y'all. Keep your head up and not down. I ask you to fall to the ground. This is the Life of Football Podcast. Catch you next time.